Pinkmon, and welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge. Look who came over again. It's Maximus. He keeps coming over every single day. He's like obsessed with Ginger, but everyone's still sad about poor Aster's death. And um, Ginger went and complained about the death to Maximus. And look at what he said. He said, You will get through this, Ginger. I'm sorry you had to lose someone so important to you. Aww. And because he said that, I think she's going to come and give him a big hug. They have gotten so close. Yeah, so she's gonna give him a hug. And I think she wants to get out of the house, to be honest. So I'm gonna see if he'll maybe wanna leave this freaking lot. Oh, look at you guys. He's consoling her about the death. Oh my god. Let me see their sentiments, by the way. Friends in a time of loss. Wait, I've never seen this one. Adoring sentiment. Ginger has formed a bond with Maximus, the kind that can only come from profound grief of death. Wait, that's so cute. I've never seen that. And they have friendly advice. Ginger remembers when Maximus listened to her problems and shared some thoughtful advice and then closed her from happy memories. Um, looks like he was impressed with her. That was the first... Oh, it's not a first impression, but he was just impressed with her at some point. That is so cute. And here's his traits, by the way. He's a perfectionist and active. So I definitely want to have them go out. She's almost over this death. She has one hour. Um, I don't know if I can ask him on a date. He'd probably say no because they don't have a romance bar. Oh, she can't even do it because she's too depressed. But I'm just going to travel with the M key. Okay, it has been raining a lot in my game. It's actually happy hour here. Um, since he knows she loves sweets and sugar, he took her to this ice cream bar. We've been here before in the series, for sure. I want to have them go in here together, and she's going to craft some chocolate ice cream. Her cooking skill is probably zero right now, so she doesn't have many options of what she can do. But I'm going to have them just be cute together and have some ice cream. How sweet is he bringing her here to try to cheer her up? The fact that he's so sweet and she's definitely going to break his heart is kind of sad though. <laughs> well, who knows? We don't know what's really going to happen in the end, but I know she's at least going to mess with him and his twin brother. She might even be using Maximus to get close to Jacoba right now because she... Oh, Cassandra wants to hang out. We definitely have to hang out with Cassandra at some point. Look how cute she looks with her little makeover. Um, but not right now. And I'm also planning to make her start a club, like a baking club, um, where all the members are like cutesy and dress all adorable like her. <laughs> all right, how long does it take to make this ice cream? I actually have an ice cream maker like this now. I've made like three batches of ice cream. Um, I think I've finally perfected the art of making ice cream in this. I mean, in real life. All right, um, so we got the ice cream. Let's have them come and share it over here. So how does this work? All right, so we can set the garnish. We're gonna do orange slices. It's orange, Jen, you know. And then we're gonna set the topping as probably whipped cream. That sounds really good, like orange chocolate and whipped cream, yum. All right, so let's come and grab some cones together. Where are you going? Maximus, no! <laughs> Wait, where did she go? I'm so confused. What the heck? Where did he go? He brought her here and then just left her. <laughs> Invite to hang out at current lot. What the heck? Now she's sitting with this random old man. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's already here. What do you mean? All right, let me form a group because I don't know what the heck's happening. All right, let's try this again. This time we're going to grab a bowl together. What the heck? Oh god. She did not need to see that old man's junk. What? Where the heck is Max? Who are you? Wait! What is Maximus wearing? Look, you guys, I did all his outfits and none of them look like that. So I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to fix him. Um, That was odd. So they're going to grab a bowl together. Maximus, get off your phone. I swear to God. She, at least she's out of the depressed mood, and she's now actually very energized. Aww. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction to that dude's junk that she saw. Alright, can you guys just like sit together though? 
For some reason they won't sit down, but I'm gonna have them just chat over here, I guess. And I don't want anyone to steal our ice cream, so I'm gonna put this in her inventory. That's ours, we paid for that. <laughs> He's all depressed now. Dude, come on, you just got us out of a sad mood and now you're depressed and you keep going outside and being weird. Come back. All right, now that she's like finally out of this crap mood, we can start flirting with this dude. Let's stop talking to whoever that night was. Oh, look at us dancing. <laughs> you tried, dude, you tried. Um, So he's taking that. Let's do a pickup line. Who is this knight? Get out of here. <laughs> Why is she standing way over there to talk to him though? Um, They got a romance bar so fast. Can we cuddle him from behind or is that gonna be like too much? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god whoa <laughs> he's trying to twerk on you <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna work no it didn't work because he's in the middle of dancing well i can just awkwardly stand behind him like that i guess let's compliment his appearance uh at least he looks like he got into a much better mood now i would like for you to stop dancing and give me attention now um, <laughs> let's flirt with him. Whoa, everybody's just terrified because of the thunderstorms. Let's embrace him so he'll stop dancing. Here we go. He's finally gonna stop. Oh my god. She's like, thank you so much for taking me out and cheering me up. Um, I want to flirt again. I don't want to like, go too fast. Let's do an amorous hug. Um, because I want admire his body because i want them i want her to be like romantic with both him and his brother <laughs> let's like hold his hands oh my god the completely jacked up looking townies just running around frantically is too much um let's also do a sexy pose Aww. If she wasn't evil, this would be so cute. So I'm going to exchange numbers. Oh my God, get back here. He keeps trying to leave. This is reminding me of like a while ago where Sims would always leave. I haven't really had that problem lately where like the Sims constantly try to leave when you go hang out with them. This is reminding me of like two years ago or so when Sims would like constantly be leaving. I think it's because of the thunderstorm. I think it's causing some kind of stupid glitch where the Sims keep spazzing out so they're leaving. Aw, uh, wait, what if they had a first kiss in the rain? Is it too much to kiss him? No, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> We're doing it. We're going to do it. None of these stupid townies better ruin the, the picture of this kiss. All right, so they've exchanged numbers, which, I mean, they already had, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. Aw. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute, though. Aw, look at them. Oh, I love them. Even though this is not gonna last, it's fine. Oh wow, <laughs> he's doing a swap kiss. All right, well before things get too crazy, I am gonna send her home. Thanks for cheering me up, Maximus. I think she would just call him Max or Maxie. Yeah, that's her nickname, <laughs> Maxie. And then the other one's Jacobo. Maybe she calls him just Jay. I feel like every dude with a J name gets called Jay. I just remembered it's actually Brayson's birthday, so we better whip him up a cake real quick. Oh, I want to insert some pictures here because Harlow it, it was never the cook of the of the family, <laughs> so she's not that great at cooking. She actually started a fire um, when I played off camera, but it's all good. She extinguished it. It was fine. <laughs> she's trying to eat her leftover ice cream cone. What the heck? No, come eat that. You're not just going to leave it on the sidewalk forever. Okay. <laughs> she is definitely, she does not have a well-balanced diet. She eats 90% sweets for, for her meals, but that's okay. That's the point of her. Add some birthday candles. Did he just level up in potty? No, she just leveled up in cooking. I'm going to cheat his hunger a little because it's just like, whatever. He was just going to eat a crayon. <laughs> no. Come on, just go potty one more time. Aww. Oh, not Harlow crying in bed. Okay, yay. All right, we are gonna age him up. She's gonna listen to the cottage conversation. Still don't believe that's a music genre, but whatever. 
I have her do her homework separately, like, away from her brothers, because, um, they actually gain relationship if they're doing homework together, and I don't want her to gain relationship. All right. Our little baby is aging All up. Right. <laughs> Pause. Aww. Remember, genetically, he's actually the triplet's cousin, but he's being raised as their, um, brother. <laughs> All right. What are you gonna look like, buddy? So he was fussy, and since he really liked the pets, we wanted to also give him the animal um, enthusiast thing. And then we'll do like rambunctious scamp for his aspiration. Let's look at him. Aww. He's so cute. I don't think he's gonna look too, too much like his brothers or his sister. <laughs> since they do have different, like, both their parents are technically different. I will be giving Bryson his little makeover off camera. I'll probably do that right now and just cut it out. He's having some grilled cheese. That's his birthday dinner. Um, he's so cute. I love him. And yeah, I'm also gonna have to slightly renovate the house because we need to get him um, the proper furniture so he can sleep and stuff. Uh, and... I'm kind of thinking of just getting rid of Aster's dance studio because she clearly doesn't need it anymore. She's not here, so might actually give um, a bigger bedroom to Ginger. Just kind of combine these, then she'll have a huge room. <laughs> Before I do Bryson's makeover, I just figured why not get a head start on his rambunctious scamp aspirations so I got him into this playful mood and he's coming to play on this little neighborhood playground yay he's already done one milestone nice I don't think he'll be starting school today he's actually sick too I'll probably have him go home <laughs> I haven't been able to get the triplets up to an A in school because I don't know they've been so depressed and like tired and just their needs it's like I can't keep up with their needs lately <laughs> so um, I think I'll probably use the weekend to get their skills up so they can get promoted up to A students because neither, none of them have gotten a skill up to level three yet. <laughs> Harlow woke up thinking about the fire and I actually had her make a salad to avoid using the stove anyway, so that's kind of perfect. <laughs> they're all thinking about the fire and they're all scared. They're like, oh no, Harlow's back in the kitchen. <laughs> oh no. Karen is going through some stuff right now because he's normally such a goody two-shoes kid but it looks like he actually used some forbidden words shocking his teacher um we'll blame it on his grief about his mom dying so we're gonna say punish away only because I feel like Carlo would be really strict <laughs> and even though he's going through a rough time I don't want his manners to be affected so that's why I did that counter bullying stratagem oh um so when I was playing off camera, Ginger also got the same thing and she said confront them and she had a good um, a good outcome from that. I think Leland would also confront them. And it says Leland unleashes, ah, oh my God, everyone's having stuff. Gin class presentation, Ginger has to present in front of the entire class, blah, blah, blah. She's gonna go all out. All right, let's see. The teacher loved it, but the classmates were mad because <laughs> she made them look bad. Well, that's your problem. And then, yeah, Leland unleashes a tirade of poetic insults and put downs. Probably all things he learned from his sister. Then drops an imaginary mic. The bullies quickly lose interest in harassing someone who's willing to stand up for himself. That's the same thing Ginger got, which I just pictured her going on some tyrannical rant against the bullies. And I was like, yes. All right, you guys, I'm back. And this is our little Bryson after his makeover. He looks adorable. He's just out here playing because he's not even tired. Also renovated the house a little bit. I'll just pop up to show you. This is now the teen boys room. They have a whole bunch of posters on the wall. I have these little custom scouting posters for Kieran since he did reach the top level of scouts. And I put it in a closet for some closet woohoo or messing around. <laughs> And then the dance studio has now been converted into two bedrooms. This one is obviously for Bryson. It's just cute and kid-like. And then here is Ginger's room, which looks basically the same, except I added these little fox 
um, pictures right here. I moved um, this photo of Harlow and Aster to this hallway because the walls are super blank in this hall. And that's pretty much all the renovations I did. Um, I forgot to hit record when the teens got home from school, but uh, Ginger did end up making out with, uh, what's his name, Maximus in the closet, in her brother's closet on purpose as an F you to them, <laughs> which is kind of funny. He comes over like literally every day. We don't even invite him and he just comes over. Oh, poor Kieran. He wants to get to know Ginger. He like is really sad. Look at him in his lifeguard outfit. But he's like really sad about the fact that his sister and him have a bad relationship. Poor Kieran. Now that it's finally the weekend, I'll have time to catch the teens up on their um, homework and skills and needs and everything. Because um, for some reason, since their mom died, it's just been like really a struggle to um to get their grades up because none of them have level three in any skills so i'm really gonna have to work on that this weekend and i also want ginger to hang out with jacobo <laughs> her actual crush that she had from school which is maximus's twin mm -hmm. Since Ginger has just been struggling with her fun lately, I'm gonna have her self woohoo because I know that'll just like pop it all the way up to the top. Oh no. <laughs> Why is her naked form like with tights and some weird thing on her head? But we're gonna let her enjoy herself. <laughs> and then she's gonna grab some breakfast. Looks like Ginger, um, <laughs> even though she filled her fun bar, she was unsatisfied from that. Um, okay, well it was her first self woohoo, so <laughs> it's fine. She's coming to eat some chocolate cake for breakfast. I really want her to get that lifestyle of um, like a junk food junkie, isn't that a thing? Um, it kind of makes sense for her generation to have that, so hopefully she'll get that if she eats enough of this junk food. All right, Leland's needs are finally okay for him to do his homework. And have them all do their homework, do their extra credit, and then work on some skills. I'll just kind of skip around as I do that. <laughs> oh my god, poor Kieran. <laughs> trying to make him get a little bit fit because of his job. And also so he can get an A in school by getting um, a skill to level 3. She wants to be mean to Kieran. Oh my god. She's such a brat. Oh my god, Maximus is calling. <gasps> Do you want to go out on a date? Urgh. Sorry, but no. <laughs> she has to play hot and cold a little bit. She can't hang out with him every single time he asks. He's like obsessed with- Look at her laughing. She's like, ha ha, he's obsessed with me. He kind of is though. <laughs> Yay! Kieran is level 3 fitness, so now he can get a an A in school. I'm gonna have him keep working out until he hits level 4 if he can. Just for his job. Now that Ginger's done her homework and extra credit and she's feeling hungry, I feel like we should probably do some baking and I think she can hit level three in baking if we do a couple of different things and then she can get an A in school. So how about we have her make some cereal marshmallow squares? Leland is honestly so tense from being around his sister that he couldn't even paint. Okay, he finally calmed himself down enough. I'm gonna have him just paint. That'll be his skill that he gets to level three. Um, because of his childhood aspiration, he might start out higher on the skill, right? No? I thought that was a thing. Oh well. Because he is creatively gifted. Ginger is just in a perpetually bad mood when she's at home. She wants to get the heck out of here. I also want to make her little club um, when she is done with this baking. Ooh, that doesn't look too good. Yeah, poor quality, but she's still gonna try one. <laughs> oh my god, Maximus wants to come over again. She, oh, he see, when Ginger doesn't say yes, he asks Kieran. <laughs> but Kieran's like, sorry, dude, kind of busy today. <laughs> Why don't we have Bryson meet this little kid, Aiden Lamb? Aw, <laughs> look at the first painting he's made. I just had him sell it. Okay, so I am making Ginger's little baking club. It's called Sugar and Spice Baking Club. Um, in the description says, a baking club for cute cottagecore girls only. So she's gonna be kind of a tyrannical leader and be like, um, 
that outfit doesn't really match our aesthetic for this club, so you can't come. <laughs> but their activities are baking and eating. Um, I put teen as a requirement just so I can find some members. I'll have to do makeovers on them, but obviously her BFF, who already has a cute cottagecore makeover, is going to join. Um, <laughs> I keep forgetting to make over Patrick and Brienne. I swear to God, I'm going to do it after this episode, but should I let Brienne in? I don't know. She doesn't really like her because she has the good trait. Let's go with, um, Nicole Palma. She can get a makeover. How about Phoenix Shaver, Deanna Soriano, Danielle Ito. Wait, do we already have a Danielle? No, okay. <laughs> Not that that would matter, but yeah, okay, the club's full, so I will give them all makeovers off camera, obviously, but now we have our little baking club. Um, should we have them come over now and we just, like, bake right now? Would that be weird? I mean, why not? I can also look, um, on the gallery to see if they have any, like, I don't know, big kitchens that would work for a baking club. So let's start a gathering. Don't mind these four girls looking janky at first. Um, let me go and look at some club perks. Do we want a popular club, um, an obscure club, or an infamous club? I kind of feel like I want to do a popular club. Okay. So let's meet these chicks. So this, oh, she's actually cute. When she gets a makeover, she's gonna be really pretty. This is Danielle Ito. We are gonna come and get to know her. She obviously posted on, oh my God. Look, you guys are gonna say she's so freaking extra, but look at her. <laughs> look at her BFF, Cassandra. Remember, Cassandra is the daughter of Yama-chan. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, and yeah, she probably goes even more hardcore with the dressing like a Disney princess thing than um, Ginger does, but I'm obsessed with this dress and I don't even care who thinks it's weird. I like it, so <laughs> yeah. If there was an orange one, that's exactly what Ginger would be wearing. All right, let's also meet uh, Phoenix over here. We'll just get to know all of the new members. We'll also get to know our BFF because I don't think we know her new trait. Oh, it looks like, um, what's her face? Over here, Nicole is starting to bake. That's cute. I'm gonna come get to know her as well. Oh, we have vegetarian up in here. Dag. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like how she's like, Dag, Deanna. Um, she needs some help with her outfit. It looks like she almost tried to make a cottage core outfit and just failed like really, really hard. <laughs> um, let's get to know her. Why are you crying, Cassandra? You're fine. We have to take a picture with our BFF too. Oh no! I look away from her for two seconds and she's already out here being mean, which is fine. She just got a, one of her little goals done um, for, for her uh, aspiration. But we don't want these people to hate her. Though at the same time, I feel like she would kind of be frenemies with all of them except for Cassandra. Um, let's apologize <laughs> since she was kind of mean there for a second. Maybe she was like insulting these guys' outfits. Like, you guys are not um, matching my aesthetic yet, so I'm not gonna be able to be seen in public with you yet until you change your entire wardrobes. We're gonna tell a story about evil deeds just to kind of intimidate them. Two of them are feeling flirty for some reason. Wait, hopefully Cassandra's not flirting with Phoenix because they're both feeling flirty. That's interesting. Wait, maybe they'll get together. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, they had their first little meeting. Um, they're just gonna keep begging stuff in the house if, if I leave them here too long. So we're gonna end the gathering. That was just for them to um, meet for the first time. And I'll see if I can find like a good place for them to, like a, a club hangout that would work for multiple, like with multiple ovens and stuff like that. All right, now she's gonna bake some oatmeal cookies, see how those turn out. She is just vibing right now. Where's her skill at? She's almost level three. She's gonna bake a fish pie. That's like one actual semi-healthy thing on the baking list, I think. Yay, baking level three, woo! Only seven more levels to go for the challenge and also now she can finally get an A in school. 
We have to be disliked by two Sims. I think we can be disliked by her brothers. That'll be easy. Ooh, she should probably be disliked by her youngest brother too, which he's sick. So let me grab medicine. Ah, oh, that is very bad quality, but she's gonna try to grab a serving of this. It literally has like fish tails hanging out. Is that what it's supposed to look like? I've never had a fish pie, but <laughs> I will say that does not look appetizing. Ah, oh, why is everybody sick? Let me grab her some medicine as well. Actually, let me check before I order this. Is anyone else sick? Oh, no. Leland is really close okay. to being no. able to get promoted, so I'm just having him finish his charisma level two right now. Yay, and then we're gonna have him resume this painting. Bryson is almost moving on to the next level of his aspiration. Yay, good job, buddy. All right, it's time for you to go to bed. Yay, level three. So they are all set to get A's in school on Monday, so that's really awesome. And I think as long as Kieran gets his fitness up one more level, he'll get promoted at work. Uh, Leland's all set for a promotion and then Ginger doesn't have a job, so. <laughs> all right, so Ginger is up and she's actually texting both the Valerial twins right now. Um, as you can see, her relationship with Jacobo is kind of bad. She probably sassed him a little bit or something like that. And so he kind of like doesn't like her that much right now. But that is totally fine because she is going to text him until they get out of the red and then try to invite him over because she needs some fun in her life. And messing with those two guys is definitely going to give her some like evil enjoyment. So Ginger's very tense because of all <laughs> her family members in here. And you know what she's going to do? She's going to walk in and change the channel on them like little brat she's gonna put on the romance channel they were watching sports the boys were watching sports and she just came in and changed the channel and they're like what the heck ginger <laughs> but they know how she is and they're not even gonna bother trying with her to be honest all right so before um we invite over that or invite out jacobo let's be mean to our little brother <laughs> soon as um carla walks out of the room she's being mean um let's like annoy him oh she's so mean and then jeer him <laughs> she's so mean oh my god let's like threaten him with violence which is so horrible like how dare you <laughs> Oh my god, he just like smacked her in the nose. Dang, she's dazed. Yes, Brayson, you tell her. Um, let's reveal our aspirations. <laughs> reveal our aspirations for world domination. Oh my god, Karen, you're not hideous. What are you talking about? Bryson's just over here being awesome. Actually doing stuff that's useful for the household. Meanwhile, Ginger's on her phone and just like, <laughs> what is this, dizzy from illness? Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought she got dizzy because he smacked her. They keep getting sick though. She was literally just sick. Let's mock his outfit. Do a petty jab. I gotta be disliked by some Sims, so I'm thinking her brothers are the perfect options. Aw, poor Bryson. I feel so bad for him. Should she say I hate you? That's a little too much. Let's like, um, criticize his social skills. <laughs> Mock his speaking voice. Honestly, girl, you have swirls all over you like a disgusting rash and you're sitting here making fun of other people. Okay. Let's, um, denounce his lifestyle. <laughs> he doesn't really have much of a lifestyle. At least we're in the red with him now. Originally, I wasn't gonna have her be like, too... Of a like too much of a negative relationship with her family members but at this point because of the storyline i want to go with with her basically being disinherited from all this money i kind of need them all to hate her <laughs> and she's the black sheep of the family and black sheep kind of has serious connotations it's not just like oh you're the one unique person you know it's like no everyone actually has shunned you because you're terrible well, not necessarily but in this case <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that considered disliked yet? Or do we have to get it more in the red? We are going to belittle his anger. Oh, this is so terrible. <laughs> Let's 
Blame for problems. <laughs> the way Leland's just <laughs> dancing right here. Tease him mercilessly. Insult his intelligence. Insult another one of their family members. You're just as dumb as our stupid brothers. Yell at him. How is this not considered disliked yet? Is it because he's a child that doesn't count? Insult him. That's weird. I don't know if children just don't count, but that's stupid. But obviously Harlow's witnessing this. Um, we'll pretend she didn't see all of it because she would have stopped it earlier. But we're going to come in and express our disappointment in her. Because of course Harlow would absolutely defend her little baby. Um, ask what her prob problem is. Stop having a friendly conversation now. Let's brush her off. Stop watching whatever that is. Oh, I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter over a few things that I'll get over eventually, or not. Okay, let's like yell at her. Stop trying to get water and stuff. What's happening? <laughs> her stomping in her cute little heels. Leland, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I need him to actually invite over his little soon-to-be girlfriend. Maybe we can get them together. Let's let's go like a step way too far and have Ginger actually shove Harlo. Oh god. <gasps> That's so messed up, dude. Why would you do that to your stepmom? She's so evil. Let's tease about her hairstyle. Um insult her. Get the F off my property. The, um it's her property, but okay. Um blame for problems. We were fine until my mom married you. What? <laughs> Chew her out. Okay, wait, we're officially disliked by her. Yeah, so I guess the children don't count. Poor Harlow. Let's um get her other brothers in the red. Let's chew out Leland. Actually, you know what? Leland's the stuff he's doing. He's trying to get a girlfriend right now. We can come insult Kieran's hygiene because he's nasty right now. Complain about smell. Dismiss his goodness. She's just on a, a tirade right now. She's gonna um, blame him for problems, blame him for her bad mood. Why are you guys laughing together? Insult his face. Oh no, why is he embarrassed? Aww. Do, I guess I do need a shower, he said. Aww. Gotta make sure nobody dies of anger right now though. Insult him again. Yell at him. Insult his existence. <laughs> and mock his outfit. All right, let me pause, because I gotta have Leland talking to his little girl over here. Um, I'm just gonna queue up a whole bunch of friendly things. Oh, speaking of dying of um, anger, we need Bryson to try to calm down, because he's actually fully enraged right now. Oh God, please don't die, dude, please don't die. Let's bully him about his weight, even though his weight is perfectly fine. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we're officially disliked by him too. And she's now moved on to the second tier of her aspiration. She has to be disliked by four sims, become an adult, and join the criminal career. We can work on being disliked by her other brother. But before we do that, I want um, Leland to start dating um, Aaliyah. So I'm going to let our girl kind of leave her poor family alone for a minute. She's going to come make a fruit pie. And... We're gonna let her family just calm down because <laughs> everybody's pissed after that. Oh, Leland and Aaliyah have a little sentiment and now it looks like they're almost about good friends. So I'm gonna probably have them start flirting. Oh God, and then his sister comes in. Girl, can you just let people live for a second? <laughs> Yay, they are good friends now. Oh God, he's hysterical, stop. All right, now he's very flirty, what the heck? These sims are getting very emotional today. Oh, Violet just aged up to an elder. I'm gonna have him reveal his crush and then we can do the first kiss. She seems fully into it, so. Oh, Cute. Babies. Now let's ask her to be our girlfriend. Yay! Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Okay, so he has his girlfriend. That's awesome. Now that that is the case, we can come and criticize Leland's social skills because now we need um, 
him to also dislike her. Hey, Aaliyah, why are you yelling at our cat? Probably making fun of him. Let's tease about his hairstyle. Making fun of his new relationship or whatever. Um, she's going to accuse him of touching her possessions. Aaliyah, yeah, it's probably the best time for you to leave right now. <laughs> she's going to provoke him. Sometimes that makes him get into a fight. Oh, no, he's hysterical again. I'm getting rid of that. We don't need people dying. Argue about responsibilities? Actually, don't do that because the argue... Interaction takes forever. <laughs> Accused of being unsympathetic, like, look who's talking. Rant and rave at him. Insult his other family member. Insult his face. Yes, Cassandra, I will go out with you tonight, actually. Mock his speaking voice. Insult. The dog's just like, what is happening? Blame for problems. Okay, so he officially dislikes her too. Cool. She is just doing a great job. <laughs> if only children counted towards this, we would already be done with being disliked by four people. Look at her face. She's so satisfied. <laughs> what a brat. I'm gonna have her try to send an angry text to Jacobo and see what happens. <laughs> I don't think he'll probably ask her to hang out because they have a slightly negative relationship, but I just kind of want to see what happens. And if he doesn't say anything, I'm just gonna have her go out with him anyways. You know what? Why don't we be disliked by Aaliyah while we're at it? Come to a rude introduction. Like, weren't you just here? Why are you so obsessed with my brother? He's not even that great. <laughs> we're gonna say get the F off my property at the end of this um, exchange. Ugh, she's sick again. That's karma. All right, let's go in and chew her out. Just like, do you have fake boobs? Aren't you only like 15 years old? Tease about her hairstyle. <laughs> um, insult her intelligence. Honestly, she's just being a total hater because... Oh, look, her best friend just popped up. <laughs> um, yeah, but Aaliyah's got naturally huge boobs, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure our poor flat-chested and flat-bootied um, air is just kind of jealous. Well, Aaliyah also has a small butt, but still. <laughs> Let's mock her walking style. <gasps> oh my god, she's so horrible. Lash out angrily. But why is this kind of fun though? Like, it's really bad, but like, also kind of fun. Even her friend's like, oh my god. <gasps> Ooh, let's fight her. That's so extreme, but... She has just been in like the worst mood today and she wants to take it out on someone. Look at Cassandra like, oh god. <laughs> Cassandra's mean, so... Ah, it's our first fight. Oh, 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 we better win or else this is going to be embarrassing. Yes, Cassandra's just cheering her on like a terrible, evil, like, underling that she is. Ah, <laughs> she got beat up. Yes, good job, Aaliyah. I'm so glad. That she lost that fight because she's such a douche she's been such a douche all day yes okay so we must be officially disliked by her i want to kind of i don't really want to declare her an enemy i think that's a little weird but she is like a doubly dazed right now because she's sick and she just got beat up trash another sim Aaliyah. just so we can have our friend like our bff be against everyone we're against it's like, hey girl, are you okay? I just watched you get your ass beat. All right, are you kidding me? Does Aaliyah really think like that? I'm a bit caught off guard, but I'll talk with her soon. So she's gonna go talk to her. Oh, she's very embarrassed. Mocking, oh, walk style. Okay, maybe that was a, a nice thing to say. No, she wouldn't be embarrassed about that. Yeah, she's not feeling good. <laughs> she's probably mostly embarrassed from losing a fight, but I'm gonna have her definitely Go out with Jacobo. Aaliyah is such a jerk. You were right about her. Honestly, she's an angel, so you guys are terrible. But it is now time to go out. I'm gonna go to a restaurant with Jacobo, actually. All right, so they actually came to this kind of fancy restaurant. I didn't realize this was so fancy. But the Valerio family, I'm pretty sure, is Italian, so I wanted to come to this Italian restaurant. Bro, why are you sitting there? <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of... A little bit fancy especially since he doesn't even like her but we're just gonna pretend she texted him like hey some kind of sassy like 
take me out on a date. I'm hungry and I'm bored kind of thing. And he was like kind of into it. So where are you going? Don't see what's happening. I don't care what's happening. Come in order for the table. She loves sweets. So we are grabbing her this root beer float. And then I guess we're going to get a cream cola for Jacobo. <laughs> um, what if she got cake for for lunch? No, she should get some real food for one. Well, let's get her pizza. <laughs> and then um, Jacobo is gonna get a big thing of mac and cheese. They actually got kind of dressed up, didn't they? Can we please sit? Oh my God. Bro, just sit. I'm about to lose my mind. Jeez, what is she doing? I'm resetting her being like really really dumb right now okay sit together is our food even coming i think we have to redo this oh my god the restaurants are so bugged out i swear okay never mind the food is coming it's just okay okay we're good we're good so he's actually feeling flirty see you guys he has a thing for her even though they have like a slightly negative relationship i'm sure he remembers when um she did have a crush on him I don't think we should flirt yet. That'll be too much. But when she did have a crush on him when they were little kids, let's maybe like try to make him laugh a little bit. Aww. So I'm pretty sure he's identical to Maximus, but obviously he's got a bunch of piercings. He wears makeup. I think his eyelashes are a little glitched out, but he even paints his nails black. I want to get them in the green at least. Let's try to flirt with him and see if it works because he is in a flirty mood. Yay, he liked it. She looks so pretty right now. Let me take a picture. She looks so much like her mom and compliment his appearance. He doesn't know that she's been kind of seeing his brother. Let's exchange numbers. Sometimes that fails, but we're going to try it anyway. All right, we got a romance ball. Let's reveal a crush, even though she already revealed her crush back in elementary school or middle school or whatever that was, but she's going to be like, I never really stopped having a crush on you, by the way. Aww. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna blow him a kiss. Oh, they have their food now. I didn't even notice it come out. I was so distracted. <laughs> oh, it's almost Harlow's time. Oh no. The way she just said rar. <laughs> you trying to speak emo to him? Hey, we actually have a higher romance bar than friendly bar for once. That doesn't usually happen because the sims will start freaking out if you're flirting with them and you aren't close enough friends. So this is interesting. Yeah, he's very into her. <laughs> Go ahead and eat your food. I don't know why they always stop eating at the restaurants now when they finish their drinks. All right, he's not really eating, so I'm just going to end this. Actually, if I end it, he's going to leave. So maybe let's embrace him. She's definitely not the type of girl you would think he would go for with the way she dresses and stuff yeah. but honestly she's also not the type of girl you would think a jock would go for but she's still pulling his brother as well look she can be very charming okay okay what else can we do can we like attempt to seduce him <laughs> she's really tired oh it's midnight crap it's fine um Oh wow. <laughs> Cringe. Oh no. <laughs> Let's offer him a rose. She's really, really tired. But I think I just want her to do a first kiss too. With him. So then she's had a first kiss with both of the brothers. Yes. I mean, I'm saying it like it's a cute romantic moment when actually it's messed up, but <laughs> it still looks cute, okay? And she's gonna head home. So now she's officially start. What is this? She wants to make out with Jacobo. Ooh, okay. Is there a closet here? I could make out with him in a closet if there is. No, sadly, I don't see one. But we will definitely make out with him later. <laughs> And with that, you guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. You can let me know in the comments what you think about both Maximus and Jacobo. Like, which one do you prefer for her? Though, I don't know if she's actually going to end up with either of them. <laughs> Probably not, let's be honest. It might be hard to support our heir here since she's so evil and she's so mean to her family members all the time. But it's part of the challenge requirements, so we're going with it, okay? <laughs> probably gonna play some off camera just so we can make some progress 
um, because she can't really progress in her aspiration until she becomes an adult. So yeah, I'm going to play some of her teenhood off camera just to progress her a little bit. I won't play through her entire teenagehood because I still want to have some drama with the twins that she's kind of dating both of. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!